Shocking news in the US election. How will it affect the markets? Watch our video to find out how. There's been major developments in the US election and John and I can imagine that we're gonna get a lot of questions about it in our meetings this week. So we thought we'd come up with a video and just discuss how we, we think this will impact the markets. John? Yeah, uh, thanks Carlo. And just like you mentioned, uh, feels like the US election's been something scripted out of a movie. Uh, yeah. There's been a lot going on, uh, at least in the last week, uh, with the uh, attempted assassination of a former president, uh, the current president backing out of the election entirely. A lot is going on within the US markets and causing a lot of concern and I guess uncertainty um, for not only potential voters, but also for those that are invested in the US market. And when people have questions about the elections and how they impact uh, with, with, with the stock market as a whole, we kind of go back to, I guess, two different ways. It, it's either in the short term and then also in the long term. Now, I guess I'll get started with the short term. In the short term, volatility and news as we hear it does play impact to how the markets react. Uh, at the end of the day, the markets are just uh, a bunch of potential purchasers or sellers of different stocks, and they all act based on emotion. So whether things are optimistic, uh, markets can do very well. Things are pessimistic, markets can do poorly in that short period of time. The markets are very volatile. They're very emotionally driven. So we're going to have some emotional swings when it comes to this news uh, on, on the election front. Nothing that we're not accustomed to uh, because... Anytime any sort of news comes out, the markets react accordingly based on that as well. So uh, nothing out of the ordinary, I would say, uh, for what we're accustomed to. Well, the way I look at it, John, is have there been elections in the past? Yeah. Has it uh, been a Democrat or a Republican in party or party in power? Yep. Has the market been volatile? Of course. But generally speaking, the market still has gone up. Absolutely. That's all we need to know about this. So again, I go back to what I mentioned in meetings with clients. What is the stock market? It's just companies that we are investing in and these companies are in the business of making money for their shareholders. Regardless of what government's in power, even if uh, the government in power puts in new tax regimes that increase the corporate tax rate and the businesses are going to be impacted. Yeah, maybe in the short term, but good businesses adapt to the environment that they're in. They'll cut expenses in order for their profit number to be high. And that's a good thing for us as shareholders in these businesses. So again, these are major developments in the U.S. election. But is it something that we should be concerned about? Is it something that we should make changes in our portfolio? Not, not in the least. Yeah. And I think my favorite thing to hear a client say is, well, this time's different. Yeah. And, you know, this will be uh, completely different because of what's going on with, within the U.S. Not necessarily. I mean, we've seen past assassination, assassination attempts on presidents. We've seen, unfortunately, it actually happened uh, to past presidents. But yet, like you mentioned, in the long term, markets are still upward trending. Businesses are still in you know, the responsibilities to make as much money as for the shareholders, regardless who's in power, regardless of the, you know, uh, the political party that's in charge, whether it be Republican or Democrat. From our point of view, the US market still has an optimistic outlook because of all those reasons that we mentioned, because there's still some positive cash flows within that market, because there's still great companies, great innovations coming out every single day, and at the end of the day, people are still spending money on goods and services. That's it. That's our episode for today. Again, if you do like our content, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Provide us with a comment. Let us know. Are you worried about what's happened with uh, the U.S. election? Biden dropping out, Kamala taking over, Trump almost getting assassinated. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Until next time, I'm Carlo Cancino. I'm John Iaconetti. And this has been Ask, Ask Team FG. FG.